We are at the Iowa Speedway for the fifth race of Season 1 of the SCR ARCA Sportsman Series. The number 92 of Jacob Britz will be leading us to the green flag. Start beside him is the 46 of uh, Frodo Mar Otis. Rest the starting lineup for today's race. As you can see, all 29 drivers are here. Celius Wolf enters this race with a 20-point lead over both Carl John Benson and Joshua Rush. Of course, fifth race of the season. Must be Ryan Rush, not Joshua Rush. Ryan Rush. First race of the season, at Toledo, Maxwell Hayden won that race. Maxwell starting sixth. At Mansfield, Celius Wolf won his first race. He is starting 10th. At Heartland Park, Topeka, Derek Edison won for the second time in his career. Ironically enough, it was at the same track he scored his first ever SCRL sanctioned win several years ago in the Rainbow Dash Truck Series. And in the last race at Lucas Oil Raceway, Nita HBK won for the 16th time in her career. So, of course, the Iowa Speedway. There's 0.87 mile short track. First time we are racing here in this series at this track. And now for those most famous words in motorsports. The field is rolling off. Doesn't look like we got any cars having any problems, which is always a good thing. We want a nice clean start. For all these drivers that traveled from Lucas Oil all the way here to Iowa. 25 laps is the distance for today's race. There will be no green-white checkers. As we get a look at camera two. Pace truck has pulled in. Pull the belts tight. We are racing for the fifth time here in series history for the first time here at Iowa. Off towards turn number one. And to turn number two. Down to backstretch for the first time under green conditions. Battle for second continues. Here comes the 29 of Dylan Ibrahimen. He takes over second place in his number 29 Chevrolet. And leading the first lap will be Jacob Britz. One down, 24 laps to go. Here comes Dylan. Not able to get around Jacob. Forty-six right behind him. Frodo Mar Otis. You see the 55 car, Bulldog 67, smacking and scraping against the wall. That all happened several times in this race by several cars. That won't be the first time, and it will not be the last, as he goes wide around the 32 car. Scrapes the wall again, and yep, that's what happens. Derek Edison's involved, the 22, the 32, and we are racing it back. And Jacob Britz will be our race leader. Well, took three laps before we got our first caution of the day. We already saw what happened, but we're going to take a look back at it again for our first caution of the day. Here's the cause of caution. It starts all the way back in turn number four. Bulldog 67 currently running in the fourth spot. Goes wide in turn four. Smacks the safer barrier. And he just stays scraping alongside the wall. We fast forward just a little bit in turn one into turn two. Going three wide with the 32. Maxwell Hayden. Derek Edison tries to pass him on the inside. Bulldog hits the wall. Comes down on Derek Edison. They clip the 32. The 79 gets spun out. The double zero goes for a ride. Smacks the inside wall. The 36. Edison. 55. 24. 22. 9. 
all get involved and get heavy damage. I'm not sure anybody will be knocked out of the race. Marina Parker just gets clipped by Derek Edison and will go into the inside wall. There's no safer barriers here. She nails it hard on the driver's side. Pancakes that left side. And you see the rest cars piling in. The 7 got damaged. The 22, the 79, the 9, the 36. Well, it didn't take long for our first caution of the day. We'll clean this mess up on the backstretch and take you back to the restart. And we are back. The 9, the 36, and the 79 are all out of the race. We have 26 cars still in this race. Jacob Ritz is our race leader. Second is Dylan Ibrahim. Third is Frodo Mar Otis. Fourth, Christian Russell. Fifth, Mohamed Zain Abdullah. Sixth, the 38 car. Seventh, the HPK. Eighth, Mark Austin. Ninth, AJ Jones. And tenth is Joshua Rush. Pace cars pulled back in. And we'll get back to racing. There's green. No pass before you get to the start finish line. Now you can. Looks like the front two got a great jump. And our turn one. And the turn two down the back stretch. Delium trying to get around the 92 car. Not able to pull out just yet. Furthermore, Otis in third. We got battle for position back here. The 26, Mark Austin going around AJ Joe. No, excuse me. The 52 in the HBK. Our Lucas Oil Race winner. She's trying to win back-to-back -back races, which has never been done in this series. Then again, the series is only five races old. And she almost scrapes the wall, but misses. Jacob Britz goes way wide in turn four. And misses scraping the wall, but that's going to... Oh, now he scrapes the wall. Here comes Dylan Ibrahim on the inside. Britt's going way wide again. He's leaving the bottom open for the 29 car. Dillium trying to clear in turn three. Britt's just gets a good run off of turn number four. But he's going to scrape the wall, which allows Dillium to take over the race lead. So we got our first lead change. Back for position, 46. Fredemar Otis continues to stay in third. Behind him is the four of Christian Russell. Russell trying to go for third. You see the 77 car goes way wide. Mohamed Zain Abdullah. But he avoids scraping the wall. Mohamed Zain Abdullah, our Formula 2 champion. Trying to bring his success that he found on the Formula cars over to the stock car world. Of course, we mentioned before, Mohamed Zain Abdullah had only one career win entering Formula 2. Then he won four races that season, so his win total is now up to five. Laps are winding down. We're going to have 12 laps to go this time by. You see the 22 cars currently trailing the field. Eric Sieg, the one Carl... Carol Dent has a lot of front end damage when she ran into another. Whoa, we got a crash. The 21, the 77, and we are racing it back. And Dillium will lead him to the caution flag. And when we get this race restarted, we'll have less than 10 laps to go. We'll take a look at the second caution of the day. Here's the cause of caution. Mohamed Zain Abdullah racing with the 38 and the 26. Ooh, looks like Mark Austin hits the 38, who hits the 77, sending both cars up the track into the outside wall. The 38, John Kroganowski, slides down the track right in front of Carl John Benson right there. Second in points, the 21. The front of his car is completely destroyed. He loses control and spins out in turn two. That is horrible luck for a championship contender. I believe the 38 and the 21 will both be out of the race because those were hard impacts. Go on board with the 21, Carl John Benson, see what he saw. I mean, he's stuck on the high side. He can't really go anywhere. You see the contact up there. The white car and the red car spin out. Carl John can't move to the inside because he's got cars to his left. 
So he's got to hope for the best. 38 doesn't come down, but he does. And the front end is destroyed. Horrible luck for our second in points, Carl John Benson. So the 21 and the 38 will both be out of the race. Muhammad Zain Abdullah will have minor cosmetic damage to the rear and right side of his car. We'll clean this mess up. We'll take it back to the restart. And we are back. The 21 and the 38 are both out of the race. We have 24 cars left in this race. Dylan Ibrahimen is our race leader. Second is Jacob Britz. Third is Fredemar Otis. Fourth, Kristen Russell. Fifth, Mark Austin. Sixth, the HBK. Seventh is Joshua Rush. Eighth, AJ Jones. Ninth, Daryl Lee. And tenth is Rocco Tymon. We have seven laps to go. And we're back to racing here at Iowa. No pass for get to the start finish line. Brits wanted to go now, but you can't pass until you get to the start finish line. Now you can. Looks like our front drivers are not deciding to make a move. Here we go. 51 car, AJ Jones. Trying to go around Joshua Rush. This will be for seventh. Baffle position. You see the four is being railroaded. He's stuck on the high side and wrestles on the wall. Trying to get off of it. Now he does. No change up front as Dillium is pulling away from Jacob Britz. We got three car battle right here. The 52. The 26 and the 46. 52 makes a move. Of course, the HPK is our winner at Lucas Oil. So she's trying to win back-to-back -back races. Move into the top five with six laps to go. Does she have enough time to catch our race leaders? I don't know. Now in fourth. She leaves the bottom open. Here comes Kristen Russell. Nope. If we get a caution, this race will be over. Oh, our leader's in the wall. Here comes Jacob Britz. This is the advantage he needed. Delium still going wide. Battle for the lead. Britch trying to clear it here in turn number three. He's got the preferred line. And Britz will take over the race lead with four laps to go. Can Delium get back into a rhythm and try and pass Britz again? Furthermore, Otis continues to hold third. If at any point a caution comes out, this race will be over. We'll, we will not have enough time to get back to racing. So this is it. The next flag ends it. Whether it's the caution or the white flag. We got a car on the wall. I heard scraping. Yes, the 51, A.J. Jones. But no severe damage to that car. And Brits goes wide again in turn two. Oh, he smacks the wall again. But he's pulling away from Dylan Ibrahimen. We'll have two laps to go this time by. Dillium is right there. He is so close. Britch trying to go for his first career win. Dillium trying to go for his first win in a long time. Lap and a half to go this time by. You see Dillium making a little peek on the inside. Not. Oh, he gives him a little bump. But. Brits is able to maintain the race lead, and we got a caution. Race is over. Dang, it was setting up to be a good finish. And our points leader was involved, Celius Wolf. So he's going to lose a lot of points. Handy might as well and stay with this. It could have been a good finish between Brits and Delium, but a caution on the back stretch ends this race under caution. And unless he fails post-race inspection, Jacob Britz will score his first career SCRL sanctioned win. He fought hard all race along with Delium. And at the end of the day, it'll be the 92 car of Jacob Britz visiting victory lane for the first time in his career here at Iowa. Well, 
We'll take a look at the race ending caution. Here's the cause of caution. Rocco Tomlin running then 12. Let's see, the 57 and Terry Lee. Oh, just bad judgment by Rocco Tymon. Goes down while tr Terry Lee goes up. Tymon spins out on the back stretch. You see the 72, Ryan Benjamin, get damage. You see Sally's Wolf just swerving to avoid. And let's see what happens. Uh, oh, he loses his control. He spins out in turn three. He nails the outside wall. Oh, the 84 Ryan Rush got a tiny piece of damage. Let's take a look and see. Uh, yep, just miscommunication right there. Just not enough room. Time in spins out. 16 gets damage. The 84 got damage. The 77 Hamazain Abdullah. And we are so close to finishing this race under green. They were in turn four. They were headed to the start finish line, but unfortunately the caution came out. And that ended the race under caution. We'll take you to your results. Here are your race results. Jacob Britt scores his first career CRL sanctioned win. Second, Dylan Abraham in. Third, Fred Amar Otis. Fourth, Nia HPK. Fifth, Daryl Lee. Sixth, Mark Austin. Seventh, Grayson Ace Vidu. Eighth, Christian Russell. Ninth, AJ Jones. And tenth, Joshua Rush. Points leader Celius will finish in the 19th spot. We had 23 drivers finish the race on Lee Lap. No one was lapped out. Everybody out was due to crashes. Well, that is it for the fifth race of the season here at Iowa. We'll take you to victory lane for the very first time in his career with the number 92 car of Jacob Britz. Here are your point standings after the fifth race of the season at Iowa. Celius Wolf is still our points leader. He has a two-point lead now over Joshua Rush. Third is Ryan Rush, 26 points behind. Fourth is Jacob Britz, the Iowa race winner, 28 points behind. And fifth also is Frodo Mar Otis, 28 points behind as well. Sixth is Carl John Benson. Seventh is Christian Russell. Eighth, the age PK. Ninth, Terry Lee. And tenth is Grayson Ace Vidu. Eleventh, A.J. Jones. Twelfth, Daryl Lee. Thirteenth, Mark Austin. Fourteenth, Maxwell Hayden. Fifteenth, Bulldog 67. Sixteenth, Dylan Ibrahim. Seventeenth is Mariana Parker. Eighteenth is Rocco Tymon. Nineteenth is Mohamed Zain Abdullah. And twentieth is... Carol Dent. 21st, Kenny Webster. 22nd, Ray Dent. 23rd, Trevor Collins. 24th, Eric Sieg. 25th, Josephine Kresgalowski. 26th, Ryan Benjamin. 27th, Derek Edison. 28th, Carlos Santiago's. And last in points is Andrew Olson. That is your point standings after the fifth race of the season. We will next see you for round number six at the Rockingham Speedway. And until then, keep the hammer down and we'll see you at the track.